Hey, and welcome into Vinny Rotino Baseball Academy. This is the channel where I am breaking down swings. I'm taking a look at uh, some good young players in the southeastern Wisconsin area, um, young players, high school players, college players, and I'm trying to compare them to uh, major league players, or if I'm not comparing them to a major league player, I'm just going to kind of highlight what I really like about their swings, what I really like about their games overall, and just kind of talk baseball and that's that's the channel this uh and i love doing it so i um, really appreciate everybody that's listening to it tuning in subscribing really helps if you uh, subscribe to the youtube channel uh but as always this is brought to you by maggie Retino real estate so if you are in the market to buy or sell a house please hit me up on instagram or on twitter or hit my wife up on instagram uh instagram she does not have a twitter um and uh, she can help out she does a phenomenal job with all of her clients if you are in the market um also brought to you by lockdown brewers make sure you guys subscribe to lockdown brewers podcast um we just talked brewers dom catronio and i three three days a week right now uh once the season starts if the season starts um we're gonna go five days a week uh, but that's a lot of fun to listen into as well. So I appreciate the subscribership there. But um, today we're going to go ahead and take a look at a young 15-year-old Brookfield, Brookfield East, I think, um, high school player named Aaron Robinson. And uh, this is an exciting player. He's only 15. He's a big boy, 6'4", 200 pounds, and he hits the ball a ton, really quick hands. And I'm going to compare him to a player named Starling Marte. Um, so let me go ahead and share that screen with you guys. Um, let me, so hang on, bear with me for one second, because I got to call that screen up. Um, but this is a, this is a player that is uh, got very quick hands. He's very handsy. I love that about his swing. He's got a very handsy approach to this, but he also uses his lower body really, really well and kind of sequences really well. So we'll take a look at this and I'm just going to, there's nothing really to correct here. This swing. I, I really like what he does. Um, let me back this up and make sure I'm sharing. I don't think I'm sharing the screen yet. Okay. So technology is always fun for me, but okay, here we go. Sharing the screen and off we go. So, Again, Aaron Rod Robinson, 15-year-old player, Brookfield East. And I got to say, there are so many really talented players in the Wisconsin area now, especially in this area. Um, and I love highlighting these guys. So um, what I want to take note of, note of right away is that the setup, I love this setup, right? It's a simple setup. If I'm teaching a kid how to hit, it is a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. It is hands just off the shoulder, just like this is here with Aaron. Um, elbow back elbow up a little bit that's going to promote a little bit of a scap load um you don't really have to tell players that but that's just what it promotes it allows that back elbow to kind of load and that back scapula to load and get um kind of store some energy back there as the lower half works so again i just want to show the swing and look how fast and quick these hands are again really handsy swing I mean, really incredible for a 15 year old kid. So um, we're going to compare it here to Starling Marte. So what I really like about Marte's setup and his swing, again, very simple approach. And that's why I chose him to compare it to Aaron's swing here. The, the thing that I want to highlight is, is when that left heel hits the ground, that right heel is still on the ground. So a lot of players kind of make the mistake uh, of once that left heel starts to come down, the right heel starts to come up. And what that promotes is a, is a move with that uh, back knee kicking inwards. And so you're going to lose a ton of energy and you're going to be real spinny with your swing if you do that. So Marte, both heels on the ground. Okay. And you're going to see the same thing here from this young player, Aaron. Look at that. Both heels on the ground right here. This is a really strong base right here to how he is operating in the swing from the ground up talk about that all the time. It's a very athletic move. You operate from the ground up. So Aaron gets in a really strong hitting position here, both heels on the ground, and he's ready to use the ground to fire the lower half, which then promotes the upper half to come last. So um, what I do want to point out is how, again, simple this move is, okay, where the hands are, are just, they make a minor load, a minor kind of load back, and it loads that scap. 
as the as that front heel's getting to heel plant. So then from here, he's just going to fire these hands to the baseball. As simple as it gets. Okay, so I love this about his swing. Super short and quick to the baseball and obviously extremely strong player. I saw a game swing of his where he absolutely tattoos a ball to the pull side. Very smooth swing, very short to the baseball. So that's going to promote a lot of contact. Not very much swing and miss. You see the same thing here from Starling Marte. I, I remember playing against Starling Marte when he was with the Pirates in AAA. I mean, this guy, you could not get a fastball by him because it was so short and quick. You couldn't fool him on breaking stuff. He's a very, very good hitter. Um, hitter first with power, with a ton of power. So very short, quick to the baseball. You see that about these both of these swings. And then you can see that finish down and through two handed finish from both of them. So um, I see a similar move through the baseball for both these guys. And again, I think the idea, a couple, couple ideas here that you really want to key on. And a lot of this stuff is repeat. If you guys are tuning in and watching these episodes daily, a lot of this stuff does repeat itself because of the really consistent hitters, really consistent swings do a lot of the same things. Um, and, and a couple of these things to highlight with these two swings is heels on the ground. Once you get to heel plant with that front foot and then short and quick to the ball. I mean, if you really want to break it down for kids, it is really that simple and you can make it that simple. Um, you could also make it very complicated, which I don't believe in. I, I, I try to understand all the different theories and swing coaching philosophies out there right now. Um, I'm trying to understand them. Some of them get really complicated and some of them don't help players. I'll say that, um, players want that stuff. If it helps them, players don't want that stuff. If it doesn't help, if it complicates things, so you just got to know the player, every player is different. Um, so I do think there's some value in learning all the new technology and the new swing philosophies, but at the same time, I know for a fact, Starling Marte is being direct to the baseball getting those getting really simple stride load and get be direct with the baseball with his hands and um it seems to work for him it seems to to work for aaron here so um thanks for watching uh obviously remember to please subscribe to the youtube channel helps out and uh we'll we'll see you guys next time